Okay. Uh, now we have already already approached the Chinatown. Remember this course, the 11th Street and the race one. And uh, to, uh, as a ethnic community, China has lots of uh, different kind of Chinese food. Uh, look at this restaurant. It's named Sakura. Even he has the uh, uh, Japanese name, but uh, uh, he represented the. Shanghai food and the Sichuan food in China. Okay, uh, let me go on, and uh, I will show you more restaurant here. Uh, here is a famous restaurant in Philadelphia, Chinatown. It's named Wang Wang. It's a uh, it's a uh, Cantonese food. Uh, the food is uh, tastes like pig and duck, and uh, it's also a favorite food I like in Chinatown. Okay, hello everyone. This is my favorite place called the Hong Far Market, and uh, you can find really basic some Chinese traditional stuff here, and I really love it. Let's go in, go check out. Okay. The Chinese market here is really important to support Chinese and immigrants to have like some kind of veggies and food that they can buy from here and using this stuff to support their family and it's really important. And here you can find many different type of vegetables and you may not find that in the American market. Alright, let's go. They have downstairs and we can find more stuff over there. Okay, and you also can find the really traditional Chinese style food here and it's called Wang Zai. You know, many of the Chinese restaurants and the Chinese stuff using Wang because Wang means hot and which is good. And this stuff and basically like when I was 12 and 10 years old and you it's you know it's a really childhood memory and really good taste and you know they change the packing style for past 10 years but I still love it and you can find it here and go check out if you come here. For this big refrigerator, you can find different type of dumpling and it's different taste. And I know the different country have a different dumpling, but in China, the traditional dumpling is only for spring festival. And if you really want to try some traditional Chinese dumpling, you can go to this market and go check out. And I believe it's really good. Hello everyone, finally we are arrived at uh, Philadelphia Chinatown and uh, Chinatown is uh, six, 66 years old in Philadelphia and uh, it, it means the uh, friendship for, uh, between, between Tianjin and uh, Philadelphia. You can see a gate in my back. It, uh, the four letter is uh, Fei Cheng Hua Bu. The gate is the first gate uh, uh, built in Amer America uh, by the uh, artisans from uh, China. And it shows the uh, Ming and Qing style from, for China. And you, can, you cannot see the uh, gate in in the in the in the old <laughs> in the old uh, Chinese for, from everywhere, it's just you just can see the uh, see this gate, see the style like this gate for some special place. Okay, finally we're right here to eat a dinner, and it's a Huobo restaurant, and he's going to talk about some history of a Huobo. Okay, uh, many people think, uh, believe that uh, the hot pot is from Sichuan, but the truth is uh, the hot pot is from Mongolia. And uh, uh, everybody knows that uh, Mongolia has a big map in the world, so the secret is uh, they have the fast way to cook food. And... Uh, can you believe it's uh, already cooked? So let's try it. Alright, let's go eat. Okay, I'll see it. Come on, let's go eat.